زوج النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم كانت لا تسمع شيئا لا تعرفه إلا راجعت فيه حتى تعرفه وأن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال من حسب عذبه قالت عائشة فقلت أبليس يقول الله تعالى فسوف يحاسب حسابا يسيرا قالت فقال إنما ذلك الأرض ولكن من نقش الحساب يهلك نريتت ابن أبي مليكا رضي الله عنه أن عائشة سدلي عائشة رضي الله عنها زوج النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم ضيف رفت محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم كانت لا تسمع شيئا لا تعرفه إلا راجعت فيه حتى تعرفه منس هي يف عائشة رضي الله عنها wife of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had anything which she did not understand لا تعرفه if she heard anything which she did not properly understand then what she will do what will she do she used to ask it again till she understood it completely till she understood it properly تا تعرفه إلا راجعت فيه راجع means repeated حتى تعرفه till she understood it properly so whenever she heard whenever Aisha زوج النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم wife of prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم heard anything from prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم then if she didn't understand it properly then she would repeat questions or she would repeatedly ask it till she learn it fully till she understood uh, understand it properly okay then wa anna nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam qala once suddenly once prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said man husiba uddiba man husiba uddiba it is hisab means putting to trial hasaba hasaba you hasab whoever will be called to account called to trial on the day of judgment about his deeds on the day of judgment on the day of resurrection then he will surely be punished Uzziba means will be punished Uzziba punished then Azzaba Yuazzibu Uzziba Yuazzibu okay then so when Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said this hadith Man Husiba Uzziba Man Husiba Uzziba that is Certainly, one who is put to trial on the day of judgment, put to interrogation on the day of judgment about one's deeds, then that person will be punished. It is sudden. Who such? Who such? No. Prophet. Prophet. Allah Alaihi Wasallam. Such. Man Husiba Udiba. Then, hearing this, Aisha Allah Alaihi Wasallam. She said. عائشة قال عائشة عائشة رضي الله عنها continues فقلت then I asked then I asked means who asked عائشة رضي الله عنها asked to prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم أبلي سيقول الله تعالى فسوف يحاسب حسابا يسيرا okay he didn't Allah say فسوف يحاسب حسابا يسيرا he surely will receive an easy reckoning he that is مؤمن the believer will Receive an easy hisab, an easy accounting, an easy uh, trial, reckoning, hisab will be there in Surah Inshiqaq. فَصَوْفَ يُحَاسَبُ حِسَابًا يَسِيرًا وَيَنْقَلِبُ إِلَىٰ أَقْلِهِ مَسْرُورًا Surah Al-Inshiqaq you have read earlier. Okay. Surah Al-Inshiqaq you may recite it. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا السماء انشقت وعدنت لربها وعدت وإذا الأرض مدت وعلقت ما فيها وتخلت وعدنت لربها وهقت يا أيها الإنسان إنك كاده إلى ربك كاده فملاقيه فأما من أوتي كتابه بيمينه فسوف يحاسب حسابا يسيرا 
Then, as for him who will be given his record in his right hand, in his right hand, then he will surely will receive an easy reckoning, an easy hisab. He will have a light hisab, very light hisab, not a heavy one, not a troublesome one or not a difficult one. Okay, then an easy reckoning will be for him. Hisab, a seer, then. And he will return to his people in the paradise happily. So, for Mu'min also there will be Hisab. Eh? Okay. This is indicated in these verses. Eh? In Surah in Shaqaq, verse number 7 to 8. Okay. Eh? 7, uh, no, uh, 6, 7 and 8. Then, then Prophet uh, uh, so Aisha Allah asked, Eh? Didn't Allah say like this? For mu'min, for the believer also there will be hisab. Though it will be light. Okay. So if you have hisab in yasira, then why do you say man husiba udiba? Eh? Man husiba udiba. Why do you say like that? Okay. That is the question, the query, the doubt of Aisha radiallahu anha. What was Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam hadith? Man husiba udiba. Whoever put to trial on the day of resurrection about his deeds will be punished. Okay. Eh? So then Prophet, uh, Prophet's wife, Aisha Allah, hearing this hadith, asked one doubt. What was her doubt? Eh? Didn't Allah say, So for you has Abu Hisab and Yasira about the Mu'mineen. So for the Mu'mineen, for the believers also, there will be a light Hisab. This, indi this indicated in the Verses here. Eh? So then why did Prophet say so? Okay. That was her doubt. Then Prophet replied. What was his reply? Qalat, Aisha Allah said, Faqala. Then Prophet replied to me. That is, Inna ma dalik al arm. Walakin man no kashal hisaba yahlik. That is, Inna ma dalik al arm. That hisab. That is, the hisab mentioned. In Surah in Shikaq, that light hisab or very uh, easy hisab, eh? easy reckoning. What is that hisab? That hisab is simply, it means only a presentation of the accounts, just a verification, just a presentation, just arl. Arl means presentation. Arl, arl, if it is Hamz, Alif, arl, yes. then earth, earth, then. So, Arl means to present something, eh? to show, just to show the virtues and vices of the man, of the believer. Okay, just to show the record, the kitab. So, it is just the presentation, it means the presentation, just the presentation of the accounts. But whoever will be interrogated about his deeds will certainly be ruined. Lakin, manukisha al hisaba, uziba. Uh, he will be destroyed, ruined. Halaka means? Ruined. Ruined or destroyed. Okay. Uh, so, now next hadith. Uh, now, uh, this hadith itself. No, this hadith. The same hadith is reported by Imam Ahmad Allah anhu. Rahmatullahi alayhi. Record the same hadith from Aisha Allah anha. When Messenger of Allah Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Man no kashal hisaba udziba. Whoever is interrogated during the reckoning, during the hisab, then he will be punished. He will be punished. Then Aisha Allah asked, but didn't Allah say, Fasahu fayu hasabu hisaba yasiro? He surely will receive an easy reckoning. That is about mu'min, about a believer, about the Believer Allah say, so for you has Abu Hisab in Yasira. That for Ammaman Uti Kitabu who be a mini. So the Mu'minin, the faithful believers will get their, will receive their document, their record of acts, their record of uh, deeds on the day of judgment. In which hand they will receive? Right hand. Yami. So 
they will be believers. Even then, there will be hisab and yasir. Then the Prophet ﷺ replied to Aisha radiallahu anha, لَيْسَ ذَلِكْ بِالْحِسَابِ وَلَكِنْ ذَلِكِ الْأَرْضِ مَنْ نُوْقِشَ الْحِسَابِ يَوْمِ الْقِيَمَةِ عُذِّبَ That is not reckoning actually, hisab. Rather, it is referring to the presentation of accounts. Okay, just a presentation of accounts. However, it is interrogated during the reckoning or during the hisab on the day of judgment, then he will be punished. Okay, huh? Prophet replied like this. Then, this hadith is also recorded by Muslim, Turmudi, and Nasai. And, okay, then, and Ibn Jari also recorded the same hadith. Now, from the explanation of Fatuh al Bari by Imam Ibn Hajar al Asqalani for this hadith. Of the hadith, Makara and the Aisha bin al Hirsi, and the Tafahim of Ma'ani al Hadith. وأن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لم يكن يتلجر من المراجعة في العلم. It is this hadith shows. وفيه أزا جواز المناظرة ومقابلة السنة بالكتاب والتفاوت الناس في الحساب. It is this hadith points the following things, main points, which indicates which are indicated by this hadith. It is one. Eagerness of Hazrat Aisha radiallahu anha, Hazrat Aisha radiallahu anha, to know the exact meaning and idea contained in the hadith. Okay, so so they were uh, she was anxious, she was anxious or she was eager to know the exact meaning and details of hadith. Okay, then second one, Prophet didn't distract such queries or questions. Rather, he was pleased to clear the doubts. When Aisha Allah asked, he explained it to her. Okay, Prophet So he engraved the questions, queries. Eh? Then, third, third one. Healthy debate is permissible in matters concerning religious knowledge or Islam whenever it is necessary. So, if one person says something, then if the other person who hear it, eh? if he has a doubt, eh? a reasonable doubt, then he can ask questions. So it is, it may, we may call it some kind of discussion or debate. So it is permissible. Eh? Then healthy debate. Now, whoever is put to strict interrogation or hisab on the day of judgment will be ruined. Then, وفيه أن سؤال عن مثل هذا لم يدخل. في ما نهي الصحابة عنه في قوله تعالى لا تسألوا عن أشياء وفي حديث أنس كنا نهينا أن نسأل رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم عن شيء وقد وقع نحو ذلك لغير عائشة في حديث حفصة أنها لما سمعت لا يدخل النار أحد ممن شهد بدرا والهديبية قالت عليه صلى الله يقول وإن منكم إلا واردها فأجيبت بقوله ثم ننجي الذي يتقوا now this type of queries or questions will not come under the type of questions or queries which the Sahaba were forbidden to ask. So Sahaba, the followers of Prophet Wasallam, were forbidden to ask some type of questions. Yeah? So uh, it is indicated in verse, it is mentioned in verse 101 of Surah Al-Ma'idah yeah? where Allah says, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu la tas'alu an ashya أن أشياء إن تبت لكم تسبكم وإن تسألوا عنها حين ينزل القرآن تبت لكم فالله عنها والله أفور حليم أو يه بليو Ask not about things which if revealed to you may cause you trouble then but if you ask them ask about them while the Quran is being revealed then it will be made plain or made clear to you Allah has forgiven that which you have already asked then and Allah is of forgiving most forbearing Halim. Now Anas who reported that they were forbidden to ask unwanted questions on certain issues. Unwanted questions, irrelevant questions. Yeah? But this type of questions which Aisha uh, have put forward, yeah? such questions uh, will not come under this ayat. Yeah? With this, the forbidden questions. Okay. In the purview of 
forbidden questions. No. So the type of healthy queries, doubt clearing, as mentioned in the hadith, is reported not only from Aisha Yamaha, but also from other Sahaba. Eh? For example, once when Hafsa Yamaha heard the hadith, La Yadukhuri Nar Ahadu Mim Man Shahida Badr Al Hudaybiyah. That is, none who participated in Badr Al Hudaybiyah will enter the hellfire. Then she asked the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who? Who? Hafsa Yamaha. Hafsa Yamaha, you are not. Listen, I share a lot of case. Okay, finished. Then, here, Afsari Allah Hunna. It is not only reported from I share Allah Hunna, but also from other Sahaba. I said, eh? then um, another case is reported from Hamsa, uh, from Afsari Allah Hunna. Who was Afsari Allah Hunna? My God, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and daughter of. Yes, yes. Umar Allah Hunna. Umar Allah Hunna. Umar Allah and who? Eh, second Khalif. Then she asked the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, didn't Allah say in Holy Quran, Wa in minkum illa wariduha kana ala rabbika hataman maqdiyya. Eh? There is not one of you who will but will pass over the hellfire, Jahannam. This is with your Lord, Rabb, a decree which must be accomplished. Surah Maryam. Verse number 71. Then the Prophet ﷺ replied, reading the next two verse. ثُمَّ نُنَجِّ الَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْوَنَا ذَوَاللَّالِمِينَ فِيهَا جِثِيَّةً Surah Maryam itself. Then we shall save those who had taqwa or piety and we shall leave the wrongdoers in it, that is in the hellfire. So all will pass through uh, or over the hellfire. Eh? Okay, but the wrongdoers will fall down into the Hellfire and the believers will be saved by Allah and they will be guided to paradise, paradise Al Jannah. Then, was as Also, Sahaba asked Prophet Sallallahu when the verse was revealed that is Alladina Aman Wala Melbasu, Iman Bilulm, Ayuna Namilim Nafsa, Fuji Bu, the Anil Murada, Bilulm, a shirk. This when the verse Alladina Amanu Walam Milbisu Ima Nahum Bilul Walam Milbisu Ima Nahum Bilul Min Ula Ikalahumul Amnu Wahumum Wahum Muhtadun. Verse number 82 of Surah Al An'am. It is those who believe and mix not their belief with Lulm, with the wrongdoing. For them only there is security and they are the gated. Eh? Then Sahaba. Had one doubt. This Sahaba asked Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, "Ayuna lam yadun nafsa?" So, "Alladina amanu wa lam yalbisu imanahum bilulm." That is, it is those who believe and mix not their belief with zulm. Eh? Only they will be gated. Wahum tadul. Then Prophet uh, Sahaba asked one doubt. It is they doubted. What? "Ayuna lam yadun nafsa?" That is. Who amongst us has not done any wrong to, to ourselves? Eh? None will be there. Okay. Ayuna alam yudhinim nafsa. Then Prophet ﷺ replied, Here in this verse, Mulm means a shirk. It is associating partners with Allah. Okay. Eh? So, inna shirk, inna shirka la dhulmun alweem. So, here in this verse, Alladheena amanu wa lam yalbisu imanakum bi dhulm. Means, it is those who believe and mix not their belief with the lulm means mix not their belief with the shirk that is associating with the uh, associating partners with the Allah that is belief in Allah and along with that associating partners with him that is shirk eh? so here lulm means shirk okay eh? Prophet replied فَأُجِيبُ بِأَنَّ الْمُرَادَ بِالْظُلْمِ الشِّرْك that is here the uh, in this verse lulm means Shirk that is associating partners with Allah. Therefore, those who worship Allah alone without partners will acquire safety on the day of resurrection. And they are the guided ones in this life and in the hereafter. Okay. So that's enough for the day. Salaam alaikum.